know that we have a, a double challenge happening this year. Here we go. I want the two-headed beast. Not that one. Anyhow, we'll, they'll find it. Here's the thing. As you've heard, we, we, we are looking uh, for $2.3 million to cover the rest of the building. It's expensive, but building is expensive now, sadly. But at the same time, we need to keep paying for the regular ministries that are happening uh, at St. Matt's. Uh, so St. Matt ne needs to walk and chew gum at the same time. I thought that was a better known expression. Uh, the idea of you can chew gum and walk means doing two different things at the one time. So that's what I have in mind. If that's not helpful, I'm sorry. So we do need to raise the money for the building. And the quicker we do that, the less interest we pay to the banks and the quicker we can just get back into pouring our money into mission overseas and to mission here. And then the other things we do need to keep raising money for the ongoing ministry. So if you're new to us and you haven't yet sort of um, found your way onto the automatic banking thing, can I encourage you to have a look at that? If you're a regular member, um, you might like to see whether or not you can give a little bit more to that. Uh, so that the ministries that go on week by week by week can keep going. We were fractionally behind budget at the end of last year, but we cut a number of expenditures as well, so we finished up okay. But we don't want to continue to um, be running so lean if we can help it. So that's one thing. When it comes to the building itself, I think for many of us it's to get information. There's, there's some plans for the building there. We'll have a bit more information for you next week in church. Not a huge amount. But basically, I would suggest in terms of getting information so you can make an informed decision, and not just to know what's coming down the line for us, but perhaps whether or not you think this is a thing that you want to, you feel perhaps God would have you support. Can I, in life groups, because this is the Canberra weekend, we're suggesting that all the life groups um, watch the video again. We'll send the link out uh, for the home group leaders so they can watch it and then have a bit of a discussion. Have a look at the St. Matt's website. I'm pretty sure that the material is there. If it's not there, just come back in a few hours and it will be. You might like to have someone come to your life group and just talk, not for the whole of the life group, just, just perhaps for the first half to have a question and answer thing with someone who's closer to the project and maybe can just make sure that we've got clarity, that we haven't muddled things up in talking about it, which can happen very easily. Um, we will be having a prayer vigil. That is, we, we tended to have 24-hour ones. We're getting weak and soft and soppy, so we're only doing a 12-hour one this time. It'll be in the week before Easter. We'll announce more about that next week. That won't be just praying that God would guide us and bless us and enable us with the building, but it will be also praying for Easter service and lots of other things that God would be at work even as we do the building thing. And the last one is that there are leaflets that will be out in the foyer that were handed out last week. They're great. So if you haven't had one, it'll just give you a chance to look at what's happening and get an idea of the various ways in which that'll be a blessing to us. So the last thing, a bit of a calendar, so you've got an idea where we're going with this. Uh, this actually doesn't tell you the interesting thing. I think it's on the 27th, is it, that, the, that they'll actually start fencing the space. Is that right, John? Yeah, yeah on the 27th, the builder will, will take sort of control of the space and, and begin to prepare for the building that'll start after Easter. We're going to have um, a, few, a few more weeks on, on topics that are related to how, do we, how should we think about our money and the mission of God, etc., and our part in it. And so that'll be happening for the next few weeks. Again, if you've already decided that you're going to write the million-dollar check, or perhaps you just write it just to shut me up, but even if you did, someone wrote a $2.4 million check or whatever today, we'd still do the series. We'd just probably change it a little, some of the extra bonus bits. But um, so there's that. My suggestion is try really hard to come to all of them. We are going to contact people because so many people are away today and say it would be good if they uh, checked in and listened to the sermons which are on the website. And then we'll have the prayer vigil sometime in that one. Easter will be as per normal pretty much, we hope, on the coronation of the king. Then we'll have school holidays. And then we'll have these two Sundays which we'll tell you more about which sort of are a chance for people to say, okay, this is... I've thought about it, I've prayed about it, I've decided this is how much we'll give over the next few years. Uh, and the reason why we're suggesting people write it then hand it in is it helps the parish council to know what they're dealing with in terms of you know, wise financial planning, uh, what, what loans we need to take out, what loans we perhaps don't need to take out. And also when, when you and I write things down, it sort of also helps it confirm it to us, yes, 
I've decided to do this. So we'll explain a bit more about those in the weeks to come. That'll be on two Sundays where people can hand those things in. Uh, always happy to take questions after church or whatever, or if you just contact the office, uh, we can make a time just to chat so that we just so we're clear on what we're doing and what we're not doing. Okay, thank you for your patience, and I think Millie.